Hey everybody, I am back for another video. Today I'm actually starting a new series on my channel called Shelby's Top 10. And today I'm excited because I will be telling you my top 10 favorite things about being visually impaired. My first thing is that I cannot make snap judgments about people based on their appearance. So if I'm at an event at school and I'm looking around the room, I, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, this person is wearing these type of clothes, so I'm not going to hang out with them. Or, oh, this person looks like super pretty and looks cool and wears nice clothes, so I'm just going to go hang out with them. I don't make judgments like that. Obviously, I do occasionally ask my friends or like my mom or someone what someone looks like. But most of the time, I don't even, don't even ask. Number two, I have had the opportunity to educate the sighted community about blindness. I have had various opportunities, not only, of course, this YouTube channel and like my other social media outlets that I use to educate, pe educate people and to try to get rid of some of those stereotypes. But I've also been in the news a couple times and in the newspaper a few times about various events for blindness. I have done some public speaking and hope to do a lot more in the future. I've spoken at various events about being blind. I've spoken on a panel answering quest people's questions about being visually impaired. So I've had so many opportunities to educate people which is something that I really love to do. Number three is that I've not only gotten to help other peers that are my age or a little bit younger um, cope with being visually impaired or overcome that challenge and just help to them with what they're going through, but I've also gotten to help parents of kids who are blind or visually impaired. So I've gotten to show parents of little babies or like kids that are a couple years old that being blind is not going to stop them from doing anything they want to do. So I just, that's something that I really love is just getting to help other people. I love educating the sighted community, but I also just really love helping other people who are either visually impaired or have a relative, especially a kid, who is blind or visually impaired. That's just really important to me and I hope to continue to do that. Number four is that I can read in the dark. Not only that, I can also read with my fingers, but the main point here is that I can read in the dark. So even if the power goes out and it's pitch black in my room or wherever I happen to be, I can still just keep on reading my book just like I was beforehand. Like I don't rely on light for me to read so it's not like if the power goes out I'm like well I guess I'm gonna have to stop reading my book because I can't see it now because I don't read with my eyes I read with my fingers so it doesn't matter how how bright the room is I can still read number five I have a guide dog I could go on and on and on about how much I love having a guide dog actually that will be one of the next episodes of Shelby's top ten either the next one or the one after. But I could go on and on about how much I love having a guide dog. I get to take her everywhere with me. She goes shopping with me, she goes to the movies with me, she goes to school with me, she lives in my apartment when I'm at school, she goes to all kinds of events with me, and she is a conversation starter. She makes me feel comfortable in social situations because I'm very introverted. I'm very shy. I don't like to talk to people. So she's a really good conversation starter. So that's also nice. And I always have someone, I always have a friend. Not only that, I also ha always have a friend that is always there. She's always there for me. She loves me unconditionally and She's always excited to see me if I'm away for even just five minutes or if it's a day or however long I'm gone. She just gets super excited to see me. I always have someone to cuddle with because I love to cuddle 
and she will do that because <laughs> she's lazy so she's just laying around usually if she's at home and so I have always have her to cuddle with there's just having a guide dog is amazing and the bond between a guide dog user and their guide dog is just indescribable like Molly Burke said in her uh, in a few of her videos actually that bond is something that sighted people just won't understand like it's just not something that they're gonna experience with with the dog it is amazing that bond is so strong it's incredible number six and now this is of course both a blessing and a curse but number six is i have really good hearing i can't say that all of my senses are heightened because i can't see that is not true i actually don't have a sense of smell and my sense of taste is not very good because of that i mean i can taste but not it's definitely not heightened i it's not even as good as most sighted people so most of my senses are actually not heightened but my sense of hearing is actually really good and of course this can be a bad thing because i can hear things that i might not want to hear but it's also really cool there was a time when i was a lot younger and i was at my friend's house and i was on like a completely different like on completely far end of their house like way off away from everyone i think i was actually going to the bathroom at the time so there was the door was closed too and I was on one end of the house and then like the adults were all on the other end, other far end of the house and I heard them say something about me and my friend going to Six Flags. So I came in the room later and I was like, wait, we're going to Six Flags? And they're like, how did you hear that? You were all the way across the house. How did you hear that? So I get to hear things sometimes before they are i meant to hear them so if you want to surprise me don't talk about that surprise with someone when you're around me because i very well could overhear you or you can just go ahead because i don't like surprises so if you want to talk to someone else and risk me overhearing that's okay with me because i i don't like surprises <laughs> number seven i get to experience things that most sighted people don't even get to experience. When I went to SeaWorld a few years ago, I actually got to go like back in the staff area to where they have like the big wall, like window walls into like um, where all of the animals are. Like, so I could actually, I got to actually go up right up to the glass instead of being in the audience with everyone else. And I got um, to see them all up close. I've also gotten to fly a plane on multiple occasions. So that was also very cool. So there are just lots of experiences that I've had and that I'm sure I will have that just most people don't even get to have. And I just, that is one of my favorite things for sure. If I had to pick top five, it would be in there. Number eight, and this is something that some people might not even think about, but I have fewer bills. I don't have a car, so I didn't have to pay for a car. I don't have to pay for insurance for a car. Obviously, if I get married, you know, we'll have insurance and payments for that my spouse's car. But for myself, I don't have a car. I don't have insurance payments for the car. I don't have car payments, like, for the car itself. Now, granted, I still have to pay for, like, a bus or like some type of transportation or if I were to hire a driver I'll pay for them but still I don't have to make payments on my own car and then also my electricity bill will probably be cheaper because a lot of the times I don't even turn on the lights because they don't really help me that much in some situations yes I will like if I'm just hanging out, not really doing much, I will probably just leave them off. But if I'm, you know, obviously if I'm cooking or doing something that I need my vision for, then I will turn on the lights. But a lot of times I don't turn on the lights, so my electricity bill will also be cheaper. So that is kind of nice. It, it's a really nice benefit 
considering how incredibly expensive assistive technology is for blind or visually impaired people because things that you would think shouldn't be that expensive because they just help us do what sighted people do like you wouldn't think that stuff would be expensive but it's thousands of dollars to get like a cctv which is if you've seen my other videos it's that big monitor that has the screen and um then you put something on the tray below it and then it will magnify it really big that costs thousands of dollars and it simply helps me read and do things like um a lot easier and that is a lot of money so having fewer bills it doesn't obvious it doesn't like make up for that completely but at least it helps <laughs> number nine is that i have a different perspective on life not only visually but also um within and in terms of just like how i experience things in life my vision is different than even another visually impaired person with the same condition as me my vision of course is different than a sighted person's vision is so my vision is not like someone else isn't going to have my my exact um vision so my I, my perspective is very different in terms of what i actually see but then also i just have a different perspective on life because since I can't see I just have a totally different outlook on things I'm not saying I'm completely positive I struggle with being negative that's not what I'm saying but I tend to look at things differently than a sighted person um, typically would and so that's helped me, not only helped me um, in my own life through several situations but it's also helped me help other people with what they're going through just because I have a different perspective and I can kind of help them with what, what's going on. And number 10, I can get on planes pretty much first. <laughs> now, this was, this isn't like a huge thing for me, but since I am blind, it makes things a lot easier than trying to get on the plane with a rush of people I can go get on the plane and take my time to like find my seat and sit down and get my my belongings situated and everything. So that is a huge help. There's a long list of things similar to that that I could talk about as well, like getting to go to the front of the line at amusement parks and having a handicap permit and stuff. But I specifically picked just getting to get on a plane first because that's something that if I didn't get to get on the plane first, it would definitely be a bigger challenge. I've done, I've done both. I've gotten on with everyone and then I've gotten on early and it's a huge help. So that is a definite bonus. But this is my top 10. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are blind or visually impaired or have any kind of disability, I would love to hear from you about what your favorite things are about having your specific disability so um if you would like leave that in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for other top 10 videos you would like me to do leave those in the comments as well of, of course if you have other video suggestions you can leave those as well but that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up Leave a happy, friendly comment down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe. It just lets you know whenever I upload a new video, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!